Make Way for Ducklings at um, the Art of Robert McCloskey is just this wonderful exhibition that shows kind of an, the, one of the first waves of American illustrators, American children's book illustrators. He was working in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, and you really see the safety of family and small towns in his work, and I think it's really endearing and something that still is really resonant today. Well, I see definitely Hamilton reflected in his work and Midwestern towns in general. Um, specifically in three of his first books, you see Midwestern all over the place, and Lentil in particular is definitely based on Hamilton. This has been an amazing exhibition for families to visit. We are seeing several generations visiting, so we're seeing grandmas and grandpas bringing in their kids and then their grand grandkids because, like I said, these books are written in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, so it's the baby boomer generation that still have a special place in their heart for the ducks and Sal and, and Lentil and Homer Price, so they are really excited about sharing it with their grandkids. Everything was hung just a little bit lower so families can, and kids can really take a look at the objects. And it, it's just, they're just really warm and wonderful and they're, they're easy to look at, so it's definitely something that I would bring a family to. The exhibition has been packed, which is great. It makes me very happy to see multi-generations. I've had several people run into me on the street and say, oh, you did the McCloskey exhibition, I've seen it four times. First time I saw it, I cried because I remember reading those books as a kid. So we're definitely seeing people come once and then bring back friends and bring back family. So it's, it's almost always this busy when we're open, which is great. We definitely have people from Hamilton and people from Cincinnati that know the name, know that he's from Hamilton and are coming in for that reason. And then we have the people that remember Make Way for Ducklings or Blueberries for Sale and then have that kind of happy aha moment of like, oh, he's from Hamilton, isn't that cool? Um, so we're seeing a little bit of both. I was really excited to find out that there was a McCloskey Museum in Hamilton and got a chance to go and, and meet with a fo few folks there and we're borrowing two of his Caldecott medals that he won. He was the first illustrator to win two Caldecott medals, so the fact that they have lent those to the exhibition is just wonderful. But we definitely want people to make sure that they come and visit the exhibition before it closes on September 9th and it's free, which is a wonderful way to bring families to the museum.